Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends story mode with the Wu storyline as we continue with the second battle here in the conquest of Wu Jun. Now last time we went down the historical route because we failed to save our father and that's okay. We'll do the entire historical run first and then come back and do the hypothetical path afterward. So let's get started here. The Tiger of Jiangnu successfully drove Liu Bao out of Xiangyang. Not true. However, Sun Jian was struck and killed by enemy arrow during the fighting. Despite his grief, Sun Ce gathered his troop together and returned to Yuan Shu. However, Yuan Shu refused to evaluate his accomplishment properly, simply letting him languish be uh, beneath his command for five years. At this rate, the tiger's claw would simply grow dull beneath the leadership of Yuan Shu. Filled with apprehension, Sun Tzu decided to trade the Imperial Seal to Yuan Shu for his freedom. All false narratives right here. Uh, Yuan Shu readily accepted, agreed to his proposal, and Sun Tzu was finally ready to strike out on his own. First, in order to obtain a base operation, he was determined to capture Wu Jun, which was the land of his forefathers. Together with his close friend Zhou Yu, Sun Tzu welcomed the advent of this new age for his family. Looking on, the veteran guard Huang Gai offered his support to the young tiger. Uh, the roar of this pack of tigers is about to be heard throughout the regions of Wu Jun and Jiangdong. So this is a rather strange battle because of the name. Um, Wu Jun is the Wu commandery. It's one of the few commanderies that Sun Tzu did not have to fight to take in the south. He did have to fight throughout Jiangdong, uh, places like Danyang, places like Kuai Ji and then going uh, west towards places like Yuzhang. But Wu Jun was under the command of Zhu Zhi during this time, who was the person that wrote the letter to Sun Ce to encourage him to leave Yuan Shu. So Wu Jun definitely fell under his way, and it made sense because his family is from Wu Jun. So there is a lot of local influence, and they didn't need to take it by force. Uh, whereas Danyang, they met fierce resistances from uh, the forces of Liu Yao, who is technically the prefect of uh, the Yang province down south. And there's local bandits like Yan Bai Hu, as well as other administrators in places like Kuai Ji, uh, led by Wang Long, that Sun Ce had to beat. And I'm sure we'll see all those faces in this battle, as they are using Wu Jun as sort of the representation of the entire south. And I guess the reason why they picked this name, uh, I think it would be better if they called it Wu Territories, is they want to remind the player that you're forming the Kingdom of Wu. So rather than provide some random commandery name that people might not be familiar with, they just went with the one that became the namesake for the future kingdom. And we'll be playing as Sun Ce here. Uh, Zhou Yu would also kind of work historically. Uh, he came in the aid of Sun Ce once he heard Sun Ce went south. He's from uh, Lujiang. Uh, slightly north of the Yangtze River. Huang Gai is a rather minor general uh, up until this period, uh, so I don't think we have to play as him. Uh, he obviously plays a significant role in the Battle of Chubi, therefore his status is elevated, but historically speaking, he was a rather minor general uh, up until Chubi. Uh, he was mainly in charge of putting down some bandits after uh, they went south. People like Cheng Pu, uh, Han Dang even, uh, was much more important for the Wu army than, say, Huang Gai. But we'll be playing as Sun Ce, since I'm pretty sure Liu Yao's best general, Tai Shi Ci, is going to be here. And Sun Ce and Tai Shi Ci uh, has a nice storyline where they fought and then became friends as Tai Shi Ci joined Sun Ce. I wonder if I have picked up any good equipments. We have not. Oh, none that is uh, designed for Sun Ce. We're gonna just swap this over and use a different... Oh, no, no, no. Why am I using sword? I want to use Tomfa. And since the other one's heaven, we'll go earth just to spread the elements. It's a poor weapon, but we're playing on normal difficulty, so it shouldn't be too hard. We're gonna get increased chance of critical, increased chance of item dropping, don't really care about experience. Musu's also very good. I actually don't know what Sun Ce's Musu attack is, so we'll figure that out. Increase your attack, defense, damage against enemy officers seems like the one that we want, and that should be good. 
let's jump in here. I can't wait to get out there and make my mark. We have a pre-battle camp. Maybe I can buy some weapons here, actually. Let's see if they have better tone for us than we do. And they have a okay. Slightly higher tier. But I don't think it's worth the money being just slightly higher tier. So no, we're gonna pass on that. Let Zhou Yu will start the battle. Let's talk to the rest of the camp. Let's talk to Huang Gai here. We must conquer and retake Wu. This is surely our most pressing business. This one family's winds of change will begin blowing here. I don't know. Last time we talked about winds of change, Han Dang had something to say. We will belong to the Sun family's great ancestor, Lord Sun Zi. He even wrote his book, The Art of War, here. And now, hundreds of years later, we have Lord Sun Ce. He is bound to be skilled in battle. Well, the Sun Zi part is definitely true. Uh, whether we are actually related uh, remains to be, you know, a mystery to be tested. I know that deep down, there is someone special whom Lady Lian Shi cares a great deal about. Sun Quan, you mean? Uh, except for she's, she's not born yet. Yes, that person is Lord Sun Quan. He's lucky to be adorned by such a strong woman. Uh, okay. They aren't, they aren't the only one impressed with her talents. I wish she would protect me too. Ooh. Well, I guess this is our sister. Princess, where has Lord Sun Quan gone? My brother Quan is off on other business now. He will rejoin us later on. Yeah, the boy's less than 10 years old. Why do you ask, Lancer? You always seem worried about my brother. Uh, no, that's not exactly the case, but I can't take my eyes off either of you, princess, for different reasons. At least that is how I feel. What's with you, Lancer? Don't make it sound like I'm in so much danger. Lady Lancer apparently comes from a family that used to be very powerful. She must have been through a lot. Yes, she comes from the Bu clan. Um, her uncle actually will become a prime minister of Wu. The Sun family was impressed with her talents, and now she serves as a bodyguard for the princess. Okay, that's the storyline they're giving her. Sure. Uh, we can talk to them again. Oh, I'll risk my life to protect you, princess. That's how I can replay my debt. They have more storyline? My brother Chue and Han Dan will be arriving later. Until then, we have to do the best we can. I wonder what kind of man the princess will marry. I can't think of any candidate for her at the moment. If we win this battle, we can base our operations from here. How exciting. You know, there's a certain art to reading the art of war. Really now. The Sun family has long been served by officers such as Huang Gai, Cheng Pu, and the one with the funny eyes. Uh... Andang? I don't know. I don't know who he's referring to. I'm sorry. I have forgot his name. Funny eyes. Hmm. Have you heard about an officer named Tai Shitsu? He's a powerful warrior who serves Liu Yao. He won the affection of everyone around him, but his master treats him coldly. I wonder why. Master Sun Tzu treat everyone nicely. Ah, Chen Wu. Things are terrible under Yuan Shu. I was worried that Master Sun Tzu would waste away in his service. Not so bad, actually. We had to guard our father's tomb for three years, so... Alright, dear friend, let's go out to fight. I'm sorry, Zhou Yu. I didn't think we would end up in this position. Oh no, Sun Tzu, actually. I'm rather pleased. Rather than taking over Sun Jian's base, you and I get to embark on a new quest for power. Sun Jian had no base. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. I know I can always rely on you. Okay, first we need to set up a base to start from, and that should definitely be here in Wu. Yes, this land belonged to the Sun family, though, uh, though right now it is being held by others. We will defeat the usurpers and claim this land for the Sun family. The people of Wu are sure to accept you with open arms. Yes, I know. That uh, no one must be done. Now we just need to go and do it. Chuan and Han Dang should be here soon too. So let's begin our fight. Alright, let's test out our moveset. Uh, there's Zhu Zhi, the administrator of uh, Wu Commander. Uh, let's beat up a few local commanders. One guy's going for some supply line. 
I'm going west, he's going east. There's a gate here, let's bust it open. The shield? Ah, uh, shoes. I'll take the double speed for 30 seconds. But where's the guard? There we go. Capture the northwest. Okay, let's go for the other little fort. Zhou Yu and uh, Sun Tzu are childhood friends. Sun Tzu was never around his father, who was always at war. He stayed uh, with Zhou Yu's family, actually, in Liu Jiao, uh, because they used to live in Xiapi, actually. Uh, Sun Tzu was mayor there for a bit. Uh, Sun Jian was mayor there for a bit, sorry. And uh, after Sun Jian went to war and became a minister in Changsha, the family moved uh, to live with Zhou Yu's family because they were concerned for their safety. Zhou Yu invited them in. There's no, there's not a single named general here. He's fighting gatekeepers this whole time. This is coming out. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and go pick up Tetris here. There he is. Well, he looks dangerous with that glow. Make way. Here I come. So you try so soon. Come and show me what you got. Oh, oh. This is gonna be fun. Let's try our Musu on him. Alright. Uh, what is our Musu? Oh, I will just whack a lot in front. The wall kind of killed the camera. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. We blocked it. We didn't block it, we did the weapon switch counter. Alright, he's beaten. I think we keep going the central route, though. I don't think the. Yeah, he retreats. There's gonna be another fight with him. Not only did Taishin Sir contravene my orders, but he got himself defeated as well. Only he waited as I told him to. So, Joe used the commander of this battle. Many more to go. I see. Okay. Are they opening the gate? Oh, I'm going back. So Juro was a um, tax collector or in charge of agriculture for Taotian in the Xu province. Uh, he took the tax money and ran with it, killing a few administrators in Guangling, and they eventually made his way down south. He's uh, pretty much thinking of him as a corrupt official who stole money from his position. And then he spent most of that money promoting Buddhism. Um, he's not a kind man, but he was just fascinated with Buddhism, which has just started to arrive in China at this time. From India. It's a religion passing through trade. I'm going to kill this guy first, get an item from him. Stuff. All right, you hit me enough. He's a bad guy. Jiro eventually gets killed by Liu Yao actually after hearing about how he killed a couple of ministers. But he did significantly, you know, introduce Buddhism into the south, especially around the Nanjing area today. The reason why there's so many temples and strong local faith of Buddhism was definitely due to his contributions. There's no Musu pot? I wanna use Oh, I can use the special one. Uh, let's test it out now. Okay, it's just uh, AoE. Well, at least it's hard to miss. 
Oh, there's also a dash at the end. But did it lose my item? Did I not pick up the item because of the dash? I think I picked it up. Another Musu pot. I'll take that. You shall not advance any. Oh, I should still steal back. Alright, let's let's lock him on, give him a round of this. We blocked it. Oh, it's not even oh we got this. No, he blocked it. Impressive. Block this. Aw, oh, he fell down. Barely did any damage to him. Oh Joey's also here. I see a Musu pot, I'm gonna grab it first. Where is it? I saw it. Wait. Oh, it's right there, I see it. Where's our guy? There we go, that's the full combo. Can do weapon swap counters. Do it. Oh, I missed it. Okay. All right, we got him. He retreats again. Guess we gotta find him three times. Always the magic number. You mm -hmm. hmm. Don't know who he is. Kingdom? He was a pretty nice guy. He's not an evil man. Open up here? Why can't we open the doors here? There's a gate guard outside. Zhou Xin? Okay, he was the general for Wang Lang. Let us continue towards the enemy main camp. Open up. Oh, there. Uh, no. Well thought, my dear friend. You are unstoppable. <laughs> We've got you cornered. Yeah, my. Oh, sorry. I was trying to summon the horse. Okay. We must shake off these enemies and then find a way to escape. Thank you for your assistance. All right, we're gonna. Won't forget this deal. If it doesn't open, we're gonna go back. We'll go help Huang Gai aside. He beat Yamai Hu already. I mean, Yamai Hu's not a significant general in Dynasty Warriors. I mean, historically, he's a nobody, too. Trumpu, you're late. Wait, the gate's open. Uh, don't see? Don't see never worked for Liu Yao. Don't see is a local in um, Kuai Ji. He joined Sun Tzu when Sun Tzu arrived in Kuai Ji. Don't see is a huge man. Six foot tall, modern day height. Back then it was like eight foot, like how they measured it. And uh, pretty tall for a southerner. So, oh, our horse just left us. I need to go back to Zhou Yu, I think. He's the commander in this battle. If he dies, we lose. That gate took a long time to open. Shoot. 
cool. Okay. Just the visor. Two shot. Chua's castle. That's where um, Sun Jian skip got buried in Chua. Ah, Pesha is back. They left me one general down here. Let's go kill him. Who is it? Fun Ming? No? No idea. Oh, Fun Actually, I, I, he was in charge of guarding uh, Danyang. The landing. He was one of the first we beat. Once we arrive south, Liu Yao's officer. I'm pulling back for now. One down. Many more to go. Uh, there was a double speed. That's okay. We don't need it. Wait, how do we get out of this place? Defeated officer here. We're gonna go to Huang Gai first, join the fighting. Actually, well, Liu Yao eventually dies of sickness. We never got to him. Beat him down to uh, Yu Zhang into the jungles of the south. He died of sickness. You're cornered. This is gonna be fun. That's it. Combo him to death. Maybe someday we can fight on the same side. Very soon. All right, let's go kill Doyle. The gates are open. Head straight for their leader. Here, we'll give you the special treatment. Getting fun down. Many more to go. That was the most exciting display of flavor. I am impressed. Done it, my lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Master Liu Yao, my apologies. As a warrior and as a man. I wish to live a just and true life. So, from this day, my life is yours, Master Sun Tzu. <laughs> Thank you, Tai Shi Tzu. Look, my lord. This is your land, and these are your men. Yes, I finally feel it. I stand as the head of the House of Sun. is in turmoil. To be honest, I've no idea what'll happen next. 
But with your help, I'm going to do everything I can to make it right. Let's go. The House of Wu stands proudly in Jiangdong, and we are its people. Yeah! yeah! Alrighty, so together Sun Sun Officer fought alongside and conquered Wu Jun in an instant. And I think this might be... Well, actually, we don't know if it's the end battle or the pre-battle for the next one. The reputation of Wu spreads far. Afterwards, Sun Tzu joined forces when they obey other defeat Yuan Shu, who has proclaimed himself emperor. That's true. Due to his seemingly unstoppable advance, people came up with a name for Sun Tzu. The Little Conqueror. They were comparing him to Xiang Yu. The legendary hero that was known as the Conqueror. Four years later, Cao Cao attacks Yuan Shao of Huabei. After building up his strength in the Central Plains, the two of them prepare to engage in a large-scale battle on the field of Guandu. That's where Sun Tzu dies. Ah, Sun Tzu was making this plan to attack Cao Cao from behind, but assassin got in the way. Xu Gong's uh, family, actually, after Sun Tzu killed Xu Gong. Uh, ooh, Zhou Tai, I guess that would be. Uh, ended up assassinating Sun Tzu. The little conqueror in Pearl. So we get a stage just for Sun Tzu being in danger. Since we just played as Sun Tzu, we will play as someone else next time, uh, even though it'd probably be easier to protect him if I was playing as him. Uh, speaking of protectors, Zhou Tai has always played that role, uh, but historically he was nowhere close because he died on a hunt, so sort of a little vacation trip. Um, Zhou Yu was not around, Sun Quan was too small, and Zhou Tai was bodyguard for Sun Quan during this time. So perhaps we'll try out Zhou Yu, um, and we'll come back and play this next time. So until then, bye!